guys welcome to my channel my name is Lucienne um, today what we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be uh, potting one of my water propagations the water propagation that we're gonna be potting has a little bit of a problem in the root so I took out this guy which is the special mix I make myself um, in this case we wanted to have or a uh, more orchid bark more um perlite because it looks like it has a little bit of a problem with the roots so i want to make sure that it doesn't have any problems i also like it um to have like um what is it like slow release uh fertilizer so i like using charcoal i like using worm cast things um, so that's a little bit of what we have on this mix. Um, so it's going to be very, very good for it. Um, I also want to show you other things that you're going to put on the root. So it will have a better chance um, because it has a little bit of a problem. So just keep on watching. Okay, guys. So let's start. Um, I want to put uh, this Gingdapsis pictus. She has on some of the roots, if you see, um, it looks a little bit darker. It could be two things. It could be that it's rotted or it could be because I had it with this one and this one has a little bit of discoloration right here. Um, so it could be that this was touching that and that's the color that is coming out. I think it's that because the root this root does not feel rotten and it also has other roots there that are good but just in case I am gonna take some precautions the first thing that we are gonna use a uh, peroxide spray and we're gonna clean a little bit on those roots let's put this guy back here okay we are gonna clean this right here with a little bit of the peroxide. Not too much. I don't wanna go crazy on this. I wanna see if it comes out. I actually think it's this. I don't think it's rooted. Yeah. 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 Okay, let's pot this. To pot, we are gonna do, we're gonna use a special mix that I make. I make my own soil mix and I love it it's very very good it's the same thing I use um, last week's video I made a video about showing propagation stations and some of the plants I have downstairs and this is a soil mix I make to save those plants that I buy on clearance because we all, we all love to buy those plants on clearance and save them. So it's very, very airy. And that is what we want to use. Oh, yeah. That is what we want to use. We have some orchid bark, some perlite, some coca coir. Okay, I think that is enough. I did not have the mesh. I did not bring the mesh. To put on the nursery pot so yes we are making a little bit of a mess but that's okay um so i was talking a little bit about the mix um it has orchid bark which is very very good for the drainage for these guys on inside on inside plants you want the soil to have very good drainage you also want it to, on this case, you want it to be a little bit more moist because it was a water propagation. Um, you don't want it to dry all the way up because if you let it dry all the way up, it will probably die. <laughs> let, let's be honest, it will probably die if you let it um, dry completely. So this here has orchid bark it has perlite which will help with the drainage it will also help for the soil not to feel like too soggy um too wet for it but the other base it has is coco coir 
which is gonna be very very good for uh, the moisture you want it to keep I have um, played a little bit <laughs> a lot I have played a lot with dirt to find what works for me um, it is important to point out that inside plants and outside plants need different things so you always want to have good soil if you have good soil you're not gonna have any problems with the plants I also want to take this time to say thank you thank you thank you for everyone that has been sending me messages on Instagram and questions and stuff um, I am very grateful for everyone that has been watching the videos and sending me feedback like on videos before feedback is always welcome I love to talk to you guys I love that you guys send me messages I think this is a very good community of communication and fun and that's what I want to do I I feel like right now we all still want distractions and like to have fun and stuff so yeah look at that oh well you you're going back here I don't know if she's gonna make it though I don't know if she's gonna make it but I have so many propagations of Morantas that it's fine if you don't make it it's fine but this is my secret my my special soil my special soil is what's gonna keep these guys alive and again make sure that when you bring something that has been water propagated into dirt um, in a little bit I'm gonna water it, water it you don't want it to be completely dry because it's making a transition and if you let it dry out completely it is gonna die because it's starting to get used to the dirt but this is how she looks She's gonna be pretty, she's gonna be gorgeous. Uh, skin daptus are similar to the potos, which are very, very easy to propagate. The only thing is that this one's the growth, it's a little bit slower. Um, it's a little bit slower, um, but yeah, we're gonna put it right here. She found a home, she's gonna get water in a little bit. In the last video, and the one before I was showing you some Hoya propagations, they still haven't, they still don't have roots. These are the ones I want to plant. I have, I had never uh, propagated um, them before, them before, but it's, it hasn't passed enough time uh, for them to be propagated. I am still, I'm still thinking about separating this guy. Let's see. No. When I start seeing roots down there, I will separate it. Okay, that's. Uh, it looks like the video is ending because my dog is over there whining, asking <laughs> for me. She wants attention. She wants attention, and I will give it to her. Um, I will water her in a little bit, and I feel like I need to water you too, girl. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for so much for the feedbacks, the comments. Um, if you wanna message me on Instagram, which is what a lot of you guys have been doing, any questions, any recommendations. Um, uh, something that I wanna say, because I have had uh, some people like uh, message me um, that they wanna do videos and they wanna share their plans and stuff. You do not need to have a rare plant collection or anything like that to share. If you wanna share what you have, if you wanna share what you know, go right ahead and do it. Um, the main reason I started doing the videos was at first I just wanted to learn how to video edit um, and then I just like liked it. <laughs> and then I just got very into plants to get distracted and all that stuff during this time. Um, and then I use it as a distraction, I use it uh, because it's something I like to do. So go right ahead if there's something that you want to share. Um, if you want to make a video, go right ahead. You don't need a big collection. I don't think I have 
a big collection. I don't think I have that many rare plants. Um, some of these plants I had had it had them before um, back home. Um, but when I moved to the U.S., I did not have that many plants. I just had like snake plants. Um, but yeah, if you want to share what you have, go right ahead, make the videos, take the photos, make your plant Insta. You don't need to have a big collection to do this. Um, if it's something that helps you to get distracted, it helps you um, keep connected to some of your friends, um, go right ahead and do it. Whatever, whatever you feel helps you get distracted, talk to other people, interact, go right ahead and do it. Um, yeah, and don't don't be afraid because you don't have a big collection or something like that. You don't need to have a rare collection to do this. So go right ahead and do it. And thank you again for watching the videos and the feedbacks and all the messages and the love. Um, I will try to see you in the next video. Bye!